Hey y'all, what's up y'all? Today is Monday, welcome. If you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision where I share with you all everything you need to know about making candles. This is my weekly vlog and I wanted to share that I'm getting my toes done because it's my birthday month. So, I can share my real true life with y'all and y'all cool with that. You better be cool with that, okay. But yeah, we're about to go in here and see if they can fit me in. I did not book an appointment, so pray your hands only they can fit your girl in. So my battery died, so I couldn't record in there. But here goes my toes. This is the final product of my toes. I just wanted y'all to know something did happen when I had said it was going to. But let's get into the video. We're making soap, y'all. We're making soap. The time is now, guys. Yes, I have been dreaming of making soap for the longest. And I found a soap kit at Candle Science. So this is their Soap Science line. And as you can see, when you first open up, you get these amazing instructions with pictures and a material list. Very useful. And it gives you insight into what you'll need at home that's not included in the box. So super useful in terms of getting your alcohol, knife, everything. We'll get into that later. But the main focus here is this amazing funnel that they give you so as you can see there is a funnel that comes in the kit that'll help you pour very evenly when you are pouring your soap and then you'll see this amazing crystal soap base yes guys so I never knew soap had crystals in it until I saw this so super exciting um, and then you also see this six count silicone uh, mold it is in the rectangular shapes you'll see for soap an amazing mold I love this blue um, very pretty and then you'll also see this amazing stir silicone spatula 8 inch very useful there's also some dye so this is green vibrant liquid here and then you'll see their uh, alcohol container so you do have to have alcohol from home and here are the fragrances, Himalayan, Himalayan Bamboo and Caribbean Teakwood. Last but not least is beautiful blue, uh, vibrant liquid ocean blue to be exact. And here is the alcohol that I had at home. It is also recommended to have a cutter or they recommend a knife but i just have a soap cutter that i got from candle science y'all i'm taking full advantage of this candle science pick up <laughs> so I, they also recommend a cutting board so here that is as well and this soap was so hard to chop down it's so much harder than wax you know i use coconut wax so it's very soft but this was crazy and it was challenging to get out of there but where there's a will there's a way and y'all i got that thing out of there i got that thing out <laughs> so here it is and I'm just chopping this up and it is sped up but y'all I died I died looking at it reflecting on that action it was challenging definitely a flick of the wrist you really have to really emphasize the wrist So here I'm just making it even smaller into smaller chunks because I feel like that will melt down quicker in the microwave. It says to do uh, 30 second intervals here and not overheat the wax. So I'm just putting it in the microwave for 30 seconds. It also mentions that um, you do not want to overheat it, so if you are about 80% done, you should just keep stirring until it melts down, but it's almost down and it's not too hot. Okay, 
here I'm just adding in a few drops of the blue to get a really light blue consistency. Uh, this is my first time doing this, so please bear with me. I'm trying to get a feel for it. And this was the worst idea ever to go with Himalayan bamboo. It stinks, guys. Can't blow. If you know what I mean, like Himalayan bamboo is just not a good mix. Ugh. So yeah, here I am pouring. I got up to five. Um, they told me to not put all of it into the picture, but I could have. If I put all of it in the picture, I would have six. So yeah, here's what they look like, and I said just let it cure overnight. Hey guys, what's so the next day? Here are all my soaps. First of all, I don't like the scent. You see this? Himalayan bamboo. Smells good in here. Disgusting. When I mix it in, I was like, ugh, it smells nasty. It smells like Irish Spring, you know? But here's my soap. It smells, uh, not so good. You know, not so great. So, yeah, but uh, what's up guys? I haven't seen you guys since last week because yesterday I didn't come on camera well I did come on camera but I was getting my toes in I was like it's probably not important for the vlog hey y'all what's up y'all I missed y'all it's cool to see you but yeah guys today's gonna be amazing I'm gonna redo this we're remaking soap because I don't like the way that this soap smells it smells like bamboo Himalayan and I want it to smell good so we're gonna have like something else I think I want to do clean cotton candle soap and lotion so cool because i always say soap i never use it so soap yeah Co clean cotton soap i think i would like that or a vanilla soap like inviting vanilla so i'm just have to decide mm, that smells good but also my soap i want it to have like healing properties so we're going to put honey brown sugar nutmeg and lemon in there so i think that those ingredients i should do the the inviting vanilla okay <laughs> okay y'all it's a little later it's still tuesday and i work from home as you all know i live in this big old three-story town home with you know just little old me and my thoughts so as you can imagine one or two or three or four or five or six or seven or eight times i start tripping you know and just be like thinking in the wrong direction but you could go back in the right direction um, oftentimes people really focus in on what is happening right now. What we see, what we see, what we see, right? I found myself feeling trapped, like thinking, okay, what's next? What's next? I don't know what's next. I don't know what's next. But then I realized after listening, you know, to some multiple manifestation, law of attraction things that everything is okay to not know. It's okay to not know what's next. It's okay to not know what's about to happen. And it's okay to not like what you physically see. A lot of people go on YouTube and say, I quit my job, God gave me a sign. They all say, God gave me a sign, God gave me a sign, God gave me a sign. And I'm just thinking like, what did he say? Okay, as I said before, we are doing this soap recipe my way now. You can see, I still have to wait like 30 more seconds for that to melt. I've always wanted to make soap. Soap was the first thing, well body butter was the first thing I was supposed to do. I still have the ingredients to make body butter. But honestly, I, I just went for candles because of Black Friday. Yeah, like I remember a great example was going to Bath and Body Works. I just put my hand in my hair, soap, soap weave. But I just remember going to Bath and Body Works and um, waiting in line. They opened at 10, so I got there at 9 a.m. The parking lot is full. Um, standing outside with a line wrapped around the building at 9 a.m. And it was just brown women, just black women, just sitting outside, just waiting for their candles. And it came up to me because I had been, like, not working and I had all the savings account. I was like, you might as well make candles because I was money. And so I did. And I never stopped. <laughs> this is not something you should emulate. 
this is my first time trying it and I was like why not vlog it but you could emulate it if you have time so there goes some honey in there Right, and then nutmeg and cinnamon. So I do not need coloring for my soap because I'm gonna have nutmeg in it. it'll affect anything but let's do it <laughs> this is how the best recipes are made at random out the ass <laughs> okay let me get the aloe vera I have some store-bought aloe vera I just want to take this part out, this chunk out. So I'm gonna put it back in there for like 10 seconds or 15 seconds and then we'll add in the fragrance oil. Okay guys, I just like updated my camera settings so it should be freaking amazing, hilarious. This is just like, I'll do this a lot. Like I'll be like, this doesn't work, this doesn't work and really I just didn't follow the instructions or try something new. So yeah, let's get the soap out of the microwave. It's, oh my God, it looks so much better. <laughs> Hilarious, all right. So yeah, now we got to, okay, it's at a good consistency now, so we're gonna take it downstairs. Okay guys, so here's what it's looking like. Very cute. This is more my speed, you know, brown girl making brown soap because it's it just smells better by the way, inviting vanilla soap. Mmm, it smells good. Cinnamon, nutmeg. Um, it's almost like a lushy bar. Cause you know, when you would go to like lush, they have these, it's like called a scrubby bar. They have a scrubby bar there that has some exfoliant, I think it's nutmeg shells. So it's not powder. It's like the shells of the nutmeg. So it's really exfoliant. It's like an intense one. So this is more of a intermediate, very, very like mid-level exfoliant. And then it has lemon juice and aloe vera in there, which help with scars and brightening. So... Yo, girl, it's a scientist. I have some left. I'm about to, matter of fact, I'm about to take some of this stank blue soap out and put the leftover in it. Mmm, smells so good. So I'm thinking, if you make soap in this, you can make soap in any mold that you have for like candle making. So I have these roses. I'll just show you. I don't want to pull them out. But yeah, I have roses there that I can also make candles in uh, or soap in. But that would be like mini soap bars like little oh or bath bombs would oh, that be so fun this is so fun i love creating stuff it's just so such a good hobby okay guys so we have two packages i know what one is i don't know what the other is I never show y'all this. I guess I can blur out. But it's like, how cool. <laughs> oh, it feels good out here. Okay, y'all. I do want to show you guys what fragrance oil I got. <laughs> 
y'all be really watching these vlogs. Like, somebody commented last week when I opened a package, she was like, you found the scissors. Because, <laughs> you know, before, weeks before, I couldn't find my scissors. So, yes, I did find the scissors. <laughs> so, I got a package from the Flaming Candle. Shout out to homegirl, I'll put her on the screen, who has a flaming candle right by her house. That is so cool. Um, yeah, so. Ooh, we got a pack of peanuts, y'all! Yeah, here are all the peanuts. They're about to dump in here. I put, the, I don't know why I put the peanuts on this, because they're up here. Hope you guys are having a great week. First things first, I got two pounds. Big body bands. Remember, I used to be just eight. I got two pounds of cocoa butter cashmere, guys. So amazing. So lots of it. Oh, it smells so good. Comment below if you think that your one ounce scents smell different than your big old big body bins, two pounders, four pounders, 16 ounces, one pounders, you know? For me, it's like, I wonder if the recipe's different in the bigger ones and the smaller. It seems stronger in these. I mean, it smells good, but it just seems stronger in these. I don't know why, comment if you know why or if you felt that. And with that, they always give you a free fragrance. If you don't specify one, they'll just give you one. And they just gave me a random one. They gave me Magnolia Blossom. I love that. They, they did a perfect spring scent, which is great because your girl needs to come out with some summer scents, <laughs> which I don't have. I need to come out with some. Ooh, this smells like lotion. This smells like uh, sweet pea lotion. <laughs> Comment below if you know what sweet pea lotion smells like. progress you know this floor was crazy I cleaned it up only thing now is this I have to melt all this wax it'd be looking so messy but it's literally just built wax here that I have to you know melt it down melt the wax down a little bit I also want to film a video uh, sharing how 
to stay motivated as a candle business owner. But I think that's an important discussion to have. Often we get discouraged with our ideas and, you know, sort of think that we aren't worthy because what we're doing is unlike anyone else. And I swear, be different. Be as different as you can be. Be uncommon, unlike anyone else in your business and never let what you fear regarding other people's response uh, stop you from getting it. So I always talk about this type of stuff on the vlogs. So I wanted to put a dedicated video out there because often I, when I'm doing my, um, you know, planning and working, it's so important to see someone else motivate me to actually keep going. Um, so I hope I could be a motivation to others. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna film that video a little later and then tomorrow we're making candles with the three wick vessel. So that's super exciting. What's up, y'all? Hey, hey, it is Thursday. Hey, y'all, it's a good day. We waiting on the wicks to come in. Your girl's got some bars to come in. Hey, guys, what's up, y'all? Hey, y'all, what's up, y'all? So it is 5 p.m. I am off work, feeling amazing. I just had a shower. I feel like I recommend this to you guys, too. Right after you get off work, it is important to just take a shower. And you kind of, like, cleanse your mind, too, when you do so. And it's like you're not... You're no longer in your corporate capitalism loop of people pleasing. <laughs> you can go back to, you know, fun life and individuality. Fun stuff. Let's see if I have any packages. I do. And they always do this. Like, what package to put it so far away? <gasps> oh, I know what this is. Okay, so the wicks are not here yet. Um, but I know what this is. I'm so excited to share this with you guys too. So I was reached out to by this amazing company who specializes in hydration. Uh, you guys may have heard of them before or seen them in your local Walgreens or Walmart, wherever your pharmacy is. You may have seen them before. It's called Liquid IV. So they wanted me to review, give my honest opinion of their products, and it's the perfect timing because I actually only had three bottles of water today. I need five more because in terms of diamond, hey girl, hey, I know you always mention I need more water, which is true. So uh, hydration is really important for me, and I found using these, I even used these before they reached out. I use them at the gym. So like if I'm in the middle of my workout feeling really tired, I can't go on, I'll drink this during my workout and I can keep going because during your workout, if you're sweating a lot, you're going to be losing a lot of your electrolytes as well as your like energy to proceed. So having a hydration, like an accelerator of hydration really helps with that energy piece for you. So I've been using them. So when they reached out, I was like, oh my God, I already used this. This is perfect. So definitely want to show you guys what I've got. Um, in terms of liquid IV, when they said liquid IV, I was like, oh no, I hope this isn't somebody trying to get me to do something like a drip, you know, like a needle. <laughs> I'm like, is it a needle? <laughs> but no, it is not a needle. Um, this is this is liquid iv it's more focused on fueling life's adventure so it's good for like long hikes if you're walking up a hill and you have one water bottle you put this in there and you have a hydration multiplier so i chose the energy multiplier here which has 40 calories it's comparable to one to two cups of coffee it's an energy blend with premium matcha. So important to have matcha because I used to drink coffee and it broke me out under my chin, but I heard matcha is a more natural uh, powder. So it has like the healing components of like fat burning and energy, but without all of the coffee, uh, what's it called? In terms of coffee, it does have something in it that causes breakouts, it causes anxiety, and it causes like inflammation that you don't want. 
So in terms of this energy multiplier, it's great for brain power, mood, performance, and focus. I need all of those things. In terms of your mood, if you're in sales, you definitely need to have high energy and a positive attitude. So I'm loving that. And performance, you guys know I need it for workouts. And it's convenient, you know, it's just a good little packet, which I'll show you guys. They literally call it energy made easy. Love it. Non-GMO, very organic. I love that they focus on that. So I got about... I don't know quite a few packets but it has a hundred milligrams of natural caffeine and this is in the lemon ginger flavor so I'm super excited to try this um, not right now because it's 5 p.m. and I'm already hyped up on a Celsius order that I had earlier so I don't want to double down but I also wanted to share that they sent me their hydration multiplier which I've mentioned so many times in this video it's super important to create uh, an easier solution for hydration with electrolyte this electrolyte drink mix it's uh faster hydration than water alone and golden cherry i love the cherry scents or cherry flavors when it comes to things like uh a drink mix so i definitely chose that because it gives you a better option and this one comes with two to two and a half faster hydration than water alone this is what i was talking about earlier so these packets are really important because they'll help you get what you need in terms of hydration quicker so you know when you're drinking a bottle of water you'll fill it after a few minutes but in terms of this you'll fill it in seconds like it's very fast um, and then it's three times the electrolytes, five essential vitamins, and it has a really amazing taste that I'm excited to try. I love cherry taste when it comes to like stuff. It almost reminds me of Kool-Aid, you know, back in the day when I was in the hood, you know, we had Kool-Aid, you know, how that was. Um, yeah. So this helps with heat and sun, travels. So I'll use this on the plane. We're going to Miami in 12 days. Bienvenido a Miami. I keep saying that. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to Miami. <laughs> and then it says, um... Express lane and slow lane. So basically this has CTTs which helps to keep you in the express lane instead of in the slow lane, you know, when you're working out because you know, it really helps with wellness. Um, CTT is cellular transport technology which helps optimize the ratio of nutrients that deliver hydration rapidly into your bloodstream. So you'll be able to get all of that quicker to your bloodstream fast when you need it it really helps if you're out there on a trail alone and you don't want to pass out you need to drink this during okay i know you might have to pee but drink this during it's worth it so another thing they sent is this um hydration multiplier electrolyte drink mix um this one's in passion fruit i believe it's the same thing as this in terms of its benefits so yeah these are the same items there are just 10 individual packs here. They help with fatigue, dizziness, headaches, confusion, muscle cramps, and an increased heart rate. So it lowers your heart rate. I love that because oftentimes when I am stressed or if I'm working out, my heart rate is up like 170. You can take that down a little bit like relax, girl. Relax, relate, release. <laughs> so they sent one more flavor. Um, this is their lemon lime. So super excited to try that. But for today, I'm gonna try this golden cherry um as i said before i only had three bottles of water today so your girl is behind and i knew they were sending this so i didn't get my flavored water that i usually get from aldi i got regular uh water from a uh, great value from walmart okay so i got my water here um regular water and i'm about to try this check it up 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 It's good. It's not as cherry as I thought it was gonna be. It's subtle. That could be because I didn't mix it properly. Like I just mixed it a little bit. It's good, y'all. It doesn't even taste like water. It tastes like I'm drinking like Kool-Aid. I definitely recommend uh, this golden cherry. You guys, I'll definitely link them down below. So you guys know earlier in the week I made soap and I followed their rules and then I followed my rules, the, the boss vision version of the rules, right? And I just want to update you on this soap. Yo girl is a, a scientist. I do this. This is what I do. So, okay. 
it's brown right the reason why it's brown is because it's filled with nutmeg and cinnamon like these beautiful uh organic products that have great skin exfoliant and brightening properties to them i remember watching a tiktok and it was this woman with a lot of acne on her face and she was like doctors are trained and certified to prescribe you things that may not help your acne when when you're in their office, they're not gonna encourage you to do nature, uh, natural products, because that did, that's not what they were trained to tell you. They were trained to tell you to take these pills or use this cream. But honestly, the, the healing from the earth has so much more power in terms of cinnamon, nutmeg, lemon juice, aloe vera, all of these properties. So I mix all of those into the soap bar, as well as, you know, the soap base, which is up for concern. I really think I'm going to get into Jerrica's recipe. Um, in terms of Jerrica, she did go in detail with using, I think, cocoa butter, olive oil all of these different oils and butters that she uses in her soap that i may try but this is just with the soap base it lathers up really good i'll definitely put that over the screen how it works how it performs and um i really enjoy how the how the um cinnamon powder and nutmeg powder had a very gentle exfoliant because i have very sensitive skin okay so i just got a notification that my package is in the mailbox i'm gonna go get it I'm gonna go get it I'm gonna go get it the hydrator the hydrator is working i have to pee but i'm still gonna go and I'll come back pee come back oh my face y'all is so fat right now i can tell i'm gaining weight in my face have to lose weight by the time I go to Miami so tonight I'm gonna go do extra cardio at the gym and don't say anything about like crash dieting I don't do crash dieting I disagree comment I would love to get you guys feedback on this but comment what your thoughts are in terms of what Kim Kardashian's doing uh, regarding her business or regarding not eating sugar, not eating sugar, or um, not eating sugar, or not having um, carbs for two weeks. Like I think that was healthy. I don't think that, that was like crash dieting. I think being moderate about your food isn't a crash. It's like a good thing. so short right now okay I'll be back but we got our wick super exciting so I'm gonna do one candle and then we're gonna do a burn test and if I like it I'm gonna do a whole bunch of candles
about to text me in a crisis I believe that all of your dreams are directions You took my heart, all my keys, and my patience You took my heart, I'm a seed for decoration You were sticking with love, I brought for you for foundation All that I wanted from you was to give me Something that I never had Something that you never seen Something that you never been mm. Hey y'all, what's up y'all? It's Friday y'all movers they on the third floor right now i mean cleaners they're on the third floor right now i just want to say thank you to them for doing this this is so this is so overdue y'all know well y'all know i be needing help in here it's crazy in here all day every day so yeah i just feel like my part should be getting rid of all this electronic i, I think i've outgrown this place yeah, it's three stories, but I think I've outgrown it. Too much crap everywhere. But yeah, I'm about to move all this stuff and then go back to work. Y'all can watch me do this. But I wake up and nothing's wrong. Just get ready for work, 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 work. To me, I'll be work, 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 work. You see me do me da 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 da. So me by that work, 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 work. Okay, guys, that was interesting so they didn't wash my dishes um which i thought was going to be included in the cleaning and it wasn't um i'm not mad about it but i kind of wish they would have said something at least about it like we don't wash dishes which is like what and they didn't mop or she said they did they did not mop yeah, they did not mop or wash dishes. Um, they organized my fridge. So, yes. I don't know, guys. I'm not going to use them again uh, for this. I just had some, like, rice wraps. I have a um, therapist appointment right now. I'm actually running late for, so. Okay guys, so I just got out of like a therapy session. Um, today is a jam-packed day. First, I dropped an earring in my toilet. <laughs> so, the a maintenance people had to come get the earring out. He's like, I found it. I'm like, okay, let's see. We probably should throw it away now. I could use a drink after that therapy call. Like, uh, the the first one I did, nothing like this came up like i said the same words to the other girl because i did two therapy sessions the first one i said the same thing i said to her but this time i don't know saying it out loud i envisioned what i would do if i were an older sibling if i were an older sister how would i care for and nurture someone and it just that was a trigger for me i just started crying <laughs> Oh yeah, so we will do a wig test on these HTPs when I get back. Oh, I feel so good. Like I feel like therapy is breaking through, breaking through, and it's not something you have to be perfect at. You could cry, you can mess up. It's okay to mess up. She said that. She was like, "These conversations will be painful." I was like, "No, they won't." And then she asked me. I don't even know what she asked. She was like, she dug into a question, like about my sister and I was telling her about her and it was just crazy. Moral of the story is, we are gonna make candles tonight. I'm gonna share my screen and show you guys how I find a market so you can find markets in your area too. Cause often people will be like, hey, I'm gonna be at this market. And it's like, yay for you. But uh, <laughs> how did you get it, you know? So yeah. I'm definitely gonna share that information with you guys. <laughs> but yeah, just enjoy watching me suffer in silence starting all these boxes. <laughs> I'm in here, y'all. I'm booked up two candles already. Look at this, it's so cute. This one is so pretty, but it's thing.
Kind of remember the wrong stuff. The LGBT. Okay guys, I'm home. What the heck? It was like, <laughs> I was in Ulta and it was like turbulent wind outside. And this lady's like, oh, what's really going on outside? And then the cashier, he was like, we have a tornado warning. <laughs> so quickly, he said like it was nothing. We were just like, what? Wait a minute. So as you can see, my shirt is all wet. My hair is all wet and messed up because of the tornado. I just experienced that. I need to buy a new car, you guys. Like, I have been putting it off for years. <laughs> so we're at the point where my, like, tires are old, or 100K miles. Um, the AC needs a compressor. It's just things like this I just need to buy. So you guys will be along with me on that journey. But, um, yeah, I've just been putting it off because I like my car insurance is 50 bucks right now and my car payment is like really low and i know the car that i want all of that is going to like triple quadruple sink quickle i don't know my money don't wiggle wiggle it falls like <laughs> come on y'all heard that song but yeah i got some elf poreless primer here and i had to get press ons because the nail salon couldn't see me which is fine because nobody can do good nails in raleigh anyway I'm really trying. I think I might go to Miami and get my nails done there. Like when I when I land, get my nails done, just because nobody can do nails around here. But yeah, shout out to the padded bra. Do what we're supposed to do. I came in the garage with no shoes on. Bad idea on my part. cleaned up in here though. <sighs> okay. So from back in my work, I just got two candles. So I was thinking I did sell my candles. We maybe didn't, maybe they didn't, but whatever. Um I got sun drenched linen here. Uh it smells like a clean cotton. I love that. They don't really trim their wicks enough. And then, <laughs> that's not a big deal. And then I got birthday cake, sprinkled birthday cake. I don't really like the way it smells, the cold throw, but I know I'll love the hot throw. Comment below if you ever felt that way. It smells like sprinkles instead of birthday cake. So sprinkles don't really smell good to me. Guys, it feels better in here. Like it feels so open, open space. Like I never show you guys my place. But here it is. Here's what we have. Shaking. I like this. <laughs> I never can stand right here. Y'all know. If y'all really watch my vlogs, y'all know I can never stand right here. <laughs> this is rare. So I just throw all those boxes. It's just, it's just like, do you want to come weekly? I'm like, no. But I would like a cleaning service to come bi-weekly. For sure, for sure. But yeah, let's just do this. Show y'all what I'm gonna show y'all. All right, guys. So it's been a day, and here we are again, wick testing. So let's undo all of this. If you know an easier way to hold wicks, if you're doing four wicks, then please let your girl know. But yeah, four wicks, shawty, because I was not getting a full milk pool. Like, look, you just wouldn't do it. So hopefully, this does it, okay? Hoping this will do the trick. So yes, we have four weeks now. Cutting them low. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Got it. So then, let's get the lighter. I really like it. I was 
this person's house. Where would that be? <laughs> I just gotta see it though. If you had a twin, I would still choose you. I don't wanna rush into it if it's too soon. But I know you need to get done, 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 done. If you come on, yeah. Sorry if I'm way less friendly. I got niggas trying to hear me all. Yeah. I spilled all my emotions tonight. I'm sorry. Rolling, 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 rolling. How many? Okay, so it's been about. 40 minutes and we almost have a full melt pool. It's definitely more, you know. For example, here's the one I lit that one as an example. This is not how I normally wick test, guys, by the way. Normally, I'll just put the wicks in. If they don't work, I'll pull them out and put a new wick. So, but this is just, I don't know, I wanted to wick test this way for some reason. Um, yeah, so I'm looking at it now and I'm noticing that these wigs are smaller but they're the same htp they look smaller to me um but as you can see in terms of the overall um melt pool is wider in this one than this one um we definitely don't want to have it go downward like that that is not a good sign it's a horrible sign like look guys this is with the cd4s no bueno at all so no and then this is a no so my idea is yes we are going to put four wicks in here but i want to do a higher htp so i'm going to get an htp tester so i can see what i need because i know it should be like either htp it's this is htp 62 so i'm thinking like htp 72 82 92 as high as we can get we need bigger wicks in here because um they're not burning they're not burning so here is what i do when i'm searching for vendors uh this will actually be my first vendor event in my area the last one was uh, in texas so that was a year ago but <laughs> new year new me so here we are the first thing i do is type in google vendors needed for events near me because what's going to happen is google's going to go through with their ai generated solution and curate all of the events uh where they have the keywords vendors needed and then near me on google helps because your location is turned on on your computer if not you should probably turn that on always allow google to access your location select done and they do have access to where you are so as you can see here i am near carry so that's what automatically populates and you'll see all of the north carolina options for events here eventbrite is an amazing helpful tool to get to the uh organizations who need vendors uh you may run into some parties but just stay away from those <laughs> and focus in on like the home goods market here it looks like this is too soon for them to need you know vendors but we can still look at it so you can see an example so on this example you can see that this is every third saturday downtown durham they do um, decor goods artesian crafts and it says vendors need it so i can apply it's every so i can get this one i'd like to do every um thursday <laughs> I, I mean i like to do june really not may so here's their website um 
they offer sewing classes home goods kits really cool so here you just select contact um, Tamika here um, for sewing classes meek makings about it's really important to study and understand more about the person so just to go back in here um, another thing to be mindful of when you're looking at vendors is you need to understand more about the followers things of that nature in terms of this event it doesn't seem like a good idea because she doesn't have a lot of followers so it's going to be slow traffic so we kind of want to steer clear of stuff like this and get out of there great example of what not to do and we don't want to go to the block party the block party they're not going to buy candles at the block party they're going to buy food at the block party um vintage market days uh nc state fairground this is too soon it's happening today <laughs> vendor show this might help elope nc's vendor showcase so this is um featuring wedding and elopement vendors who want to support your wedding dreams super exciting stuff here i mean in terms of candles if you had some candle related uh information here would make sense to reach out but since we don't we move on so regarding what we're looking for they just typed in vendors needed in raleigh and what came up was uh, a few items that are a bit far out so i'd say next month <laughs> next month still doing the durham home goods market mark makers north hill let's see what that is about it's a pop-up market exciting uh the maker society is back in 2022 pop-up market 45 locals artists and makers vendor applications right here okay oh they have pup fest pet photographer all that good stuff super excited minority business month oh exciting this is so exciting wait when wait did that thing say Yes, so June is Minority Business Month. Perfect, because that's when I want to do a vendor. So perfect. So here, I am just going to fully apply. Yes, for the uh, Midtown Park one. Um, wow, good pricing too, in terms of the application. So yeah, another great thing then, since they gave me their um, stuff, it's Event E-N-Y. So you can Google that too, Event E-N-Y, in your city. And you'll be able to see who's using Event ENY in your city. Um, this is people who are using Event. Well, you don't have to worry about that, actually. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and fully apply here. Huh. Yeah, and it looks like they're asking me for all of my relevant information. So I'm gonna to apply to this one, guys. We found one. So I just wanted to emphasize how easy that was to find. Um, it's really important to verify that they do this often, and it's not just a one-time, one offer. So it's monthly. So that's a good telling sign. This would be a good option. Um, join us to shop this year. We will have two food trucks, um, and then where the location for me midtown park at north hills is a very popular location near me so i'm definitely excited to go um and then they have very interesting items but to be more safe because i want to make sure you guys really find good markets in your area after you found on eventbrite search it on google and see what the is there chatter like great sign is that it's already happening this month and it's happening again next month um, they have their own website that is a great sign so as you can see here if you do your research you'll be able to gain a better understanding of how cool this looks okay I'm getting excited just looking at it live music it's in a great location um, and they have so many events so every month has a different purpose and you know uh, having purpose brings people out so that is a definite deciding factor on me applying so i'm definitely going to apply right now and uh, i will be sharing with you all that i have a tent coming in soon as well someone is sending me a tent so that's super exciting guys and i love this site okay guys so we found one and yeah i'll definitely list the key signifiers that you guys should pay attention to in the description down below as well as on the screen so you can gain a better understanding of what not to do and what to do and it's perfect time 11 to 3 it's so comfortable okay y'all all right i'm hype okay let's do this <laughs> yeah just stay tuned okay 
Okay, y'all, so that was amazing. We found a really nice vendor event that has a lot of traction. It was only $85 for the booth fee. I'm like, damn, that was amazing. Um, and you don't have to pay a non-refundable application fee. They will charge you the booth fee if they approve your your application but they won't charge you if they don't which is fair to me i feel like there's no point in an application fee for a vendor because all they have to do is review it like there's no money lost on their end also i like how it was literally a tornado four hours ago no it's not it's a perfect day but it was like a tornado a few hours ago the door is hot Okay, y'all, we in my guest bathroom. Or, yeah, I would say. Here's my soap that I created. As you can see. I like to wet my hands first. Sit down. Relax. Relax. Everybody. Relax. And, uh... As you can see, my hands look moisturized as I'm washing them, and that's because they are. Like, this soap is so moisturizing with the honey and the aloe vera juice in there. It just really helps. I feel like it's really good exfoliant with the nutmeg and cinnamon as well, but because it's powder, it's more of a gentle exfoliant. Yo, girl, did that. Y'all, comment down below what you think of this recipe. I'm super excited. I've never seen anything like this. Well, I mean... I've never researched soap, but I'm just proud of myself. Yes, I didn't mix it properly, but you know, this is my first time, so please cut your girl some slack. And yeah, definitely comment below if you've ever made soap before and your experience there, love to know. Okay guys, so, <laughs> um, yeah, so, that was the demo of the soap. As you can see, it's moisturizing because it's made with honey. Mm, my hands feel so soft. Like I knew I wasn't crazy. Like it would wash. I wash my body, get out of the shower. I'm not feeling like you know, crinkly, crusty, and dry. I feel moisturized because your girl knows how to make a soap. So your girl is clearing. I had eczema on my hand. It is getting better because of my soap recipe so please don't play with her it's only going to get better because i'm going to put shea butter in there instead of soap base so it's only going to get better okay period that's what 22 is looking 2022 is looking like innovative create create this is not a for debate start that business offer service make a product it's not too late i said create create to make it better innovate network integrate for people <laughs> Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now, and what you do That's why I spend my life with you I won't please you in any way I can I won't share my world, don't you understand? I'm 
Hey y'all, what's up y'all? It is Saturday. I have so much energy because I took the liquid IV um, energy multiplier during my workout. <laughs> After my pre-workout. So, it's yellow in here. I don't know why we're so yellow we in the bathroom. I just took a shower. So, now I'm about to take all of my items, you know, all my electronics. Baby girl always got a whole bunch of electronics. I take everything with me. Um, I'm going to drop off the package at USPS. I don't know why I always say it like that. Hey girl, hey Keisha. Um, excited to review your cameras when it come in next week. Um, but yeah, I have laundry behind me. I'm about to do laundry when I get back after I edit. But yeah, the main focus today is to edit and then plan out my week so that I'm really productive before I go to Miami. Vinny Needle, I'm young. I put on my waist trainer. It really helps if you work out a lot, your body will want to go like this. Because you know, it's like our natural look is like straight. So if you waist train, if you're super fit, you have like your stomach wants to go square, you can waist train and it makes it go curvy. Period, poo. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, let's go to the USPS. First, I just need to find all my stuff. Like, I feel so energized and just good. I can't find my... I can't find, I can't find my, my new wig. So, guys, if you see this old wig, that's why. Okay, guys. We in the car. It's, like, overcast again today. And overcast really affects my, like, energy. But this liquid IV... Has your girl lit? They should call it liquid IV. <laughs> oh, see my brakes. I need a new car. I'm gonna test drive cars next week, and you guys will see me do that. Like I've been saving up money for years. I've have savings, have savings to do this to put down our down payment and buy a car. However, comma, I'm cheap, and I kind of want to buy a car with my EIN. So I'm gonna do research if that's even an option to do so. You know, if you're business EIN, you're a YouTuber or a business entrepreneur, you should definitely entrepreneur, <laughs> you should definitely be able to do that. Everything about you. Okay guys, as always, we end the vlog at the USPS. So I just wanted to thank y'all so much for watching. Definitely stay tuned for next week where I share with you all how I'm prepping for Miami for my birthday as well as for markets because we are in market season. So definitely stay tuned for that journey. I also want to encourage you all to take a step back and be present in every moment of your day and show gratitude for all of your opportunities rather than focus and on the things in life that have to happen in order for you to be great which includes like negative things so never never focus on negativity always laser focus on positivity and be intentional about your thoughts like be more intentional about what it is you choose to think rather than assume that you don't have power you have all the power over your thoughts i hope this helps guys and i hope you all enjoy the rest of your day your week your next hour just live in your purpose and love life okay bye